Alendronate is a nitrogenous bisphosphonate, and also known as osteoporosis medication. Alendronate is used for prevention and treatment of osteoporosis and Paget disease, as well as for the treatment of bone cancer and hypercalcemia of malignancy. Osteoporosis is a condition where decreased bone strength increases the risk of bone breakage. Talking about mechanism of action. Alendronate works by inhibiting the mevalinate pathway of osteoclasts, which disrupts the synthesis of cholesterol. Cholesterol is important for the function of the cell membrane and many enzymes. This decrease in cholesterol causes the osteoclast to become non-functional. And ultimately fewer osteoclasts mean less bone resorption. Because osteoclasts can break down bones to release calcium into the blood. So, their inhibition will also decrease blood calcium levels, making alendronate an effective medication in the treatment of hypercalcemia. Common side effects of alendronate include nausea, constipation, diarrhea, esophagitis, bloating, headache, and dizziness. More serious side effects associated with alendronate are chest pain, hematemesis, bloody stools, difficulty swallowing, and severe heartburn. If we talk about counseling a patient using this drug, alendronate is taken orally as a tablet or solution taken on an empty stomach. Absorption after oral administration is poor, with less than 1% of the dose absorbed. Food and other medications significantly interfere with absorption of oral bisphosphonates and guidelines for administration should be followed to maximize absorption. The patient should sit upright for at least 30 minutes after ingesting alendronate to avoid gastrointestinal symptoms. In the end, alendronate is contraindicated in patients with hypocalcemia, and in those patients who are unable to stand or sit upright for at least 30 minutes. Check calcium and vitamin D levels prior to initiating treatment. Due to the risk of osteonecrosis of jaw, dental work should be done prior to starting treatment. Lastly, alendronate is not recommended if creatinine clearance of patient is less than 35 milliliters per minute. So, that was all about clinical pharmacology of alendronate. Hope you like this video. For more pharmacology pearls, Keep sharing and keep supporting us. Thank you.